compact, powerful, and perfectly sized for both productivity and entertainment. It's the tablet for those who want the iPad experience without the bulk. But now, Apple seems ready to take this little powerhouse to an entirely new level. Leaks surrounding the iPad Mini 8 2025 suggest a transformation that could make it one of the most advanced compact tablets ever built. From a rumored OLED display that rivals flagship iPhones, to Apple's all-new A19 Pro chipset and even 12 gigabytes of unified memory, the iPad Mini 8 might finally bridge the gap between power and portability like never before. So in this deep dive, we're going to unpack every major leak, rumor, and insider report. From display technology and design changes to release timeline, pricing, and who should actually wait for it. By the end, you'll know exactly whether the iPad Mini 8 is worth holding out for, or if the current iPad Mini 6 or 7 will serve you just fine. 1. Apple's Compact Powerhouse – A Brief Evolution Before diving into the future, it's important to understand where the iPad Mini comes from, because Apple's evolution here has been subtle yet deliberate. The original iPad Mini, launched in 2012, was Apple's answer to smaller tablets like the Nexus 7. It offered portability with iOS fluidity, a winning combination. Since then, every iteration has refined that idea. The iPad Mini 5 brought Apple Pencil support. The iPad Mini 6 introduced the full-screen design, USB-C, and a 15 Bionic performance. The iPad Mini 7, released quietly in 2024, added modest internal upgrades and better cameras. But now, the iPad Mini 8 is expected to deliver Apple's most significant leap yet, a jump into OLED display technology and pro-level chip performance, bringing the smallest iPad closer to the capabilities of the iPad Air and even the iPad Pro. 2. The Heart of the Machine A 19 Pro Chipset Let's start with what truly defines the iPad Mini 8 performance. At the core of this next-generation model lies Apple's rumored A19 Pro chip built on advanced 2 nanometer process. This makes it not only faster and more efficient, but also more future-proof than anything currently in Apple's non-Pro iPad lineup. The A19 Pro is expected to introduce a major architectural shift, including enhanced neural processing for AI-based features improved GPU performance for gaming and creative work, and significantly better energy efficiency. Here's what that means for you. Faster multitasking, switching between apps, editing videos, and running complex workflows will feel instant. Better battery life. Thanks to the more efficient architecture, you can expect longer screen time without overheating. Enhanced graphics. The iPad Mini 8 could finally handle AAA-level gaming and intensive creative applications like Final Cut Pro or Logic Pro Mobile Editions. AI optimization. Expect smarter photo editing, faster Siri responses, and improved background processing for on-device intelligence. And then there's the 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is massive for a device of this size. The combination of a 19 Pro plus 12 gigabytes unified memory puts it in a completely new league, comparable to laptops and even base M-Series Max in multitasking ability. Apple has always optimized software efficiency, but with this hardware, the iPad Mini 8 could truly become a mini workstation. Thermal management also sees improvement. Early prototypes reportedly include a graphene-based heat spreader, keeping performance stable even during extended use, whether gaming, editing, or streaming in 4K HDR. 3. OLED Display The most beautiful iPad Mini yet. If there's one upgrade that will be instantly visible, it's the rumored OLED display. After years of using LCD and mini LED panels, Apple is finally ready to bring true OLED technology to the iPad Mini. And not just any OLED, but LTPS single-stack OLED panels, similar to those used in premium iPhones. What does that mean for users? Deeper blacks. Each pixel emits its own light, delivering infinite contrast. Richer color reproduction. Perfect for creative professionals and media lovers. Improved energy efficiency. OLED panels can consume less power, especially when showing darker content. The screen size is expected to increase slightly. 
from 8.3 inches to 8.7 inches, achieved by trimming the bezels even. Further, this offers a more immersive experience without compromising portability. The only limitation may be refresh rate. While Apple could restrict it to 60 Hz to preserve battery life and maintain separation from the iPad Pro, some insiders hint at a possible 90 Hz adaptive refresh, offering smoother scrolling without going full promotion. Either way, expect a massive upgrade in color depth, brightness uniformity, and HDR playback. OLED will make the iPad Mini 8 one of the most visually stunning compact tablets in Apple's history. 4. Design Philosophy Familiar yet refined. Apple is known for design continuity, and the iPad Mini 8 continues that tradition, but with refinement. The flat edge design introduced in 2021 remains, complete with aerospace grade aluminum and rounded corners. However, Apple is said to be experimenting with new surface finishes, including a matte anodized version to reduce fingerprints and glare. The front will feature slimmer bezels yet still maintain Touch ID integrated into the power button for security. While some hope for Face ID, current leaks suggest Apple will reserve that for the iPad Air and Pro models. On the back, the camera layout may remain a single wide sensor, but upgraded to 12MP with better low-light performance. The front camera could move to a landscape position, aligning with Apple's latest iPad design philosophy a much more natural angle for video calls and FaceTime. The Apple Pencil 2 and possibly Apple Pencil Pro will be supported along with magnetic charging on the side. Overall, the iPad Mini 8 will retain its sleek and practical look, but small touches in materials, bezels, and symmetry will give it that refined next-gen Apple aesthetic. 5. Connectivity Revolution, Wi-Fi 7 and Beyond Connectivity is another area where the iPad Mini 8 takes a noticeable leap forward. Apple plans to include Wi-Fi 7, the newest standard that enables multi-gigabit speeds, ultra-low latency, and better stability in dense environments. If you've upgraded to a modern router, you'll see tangible benefits, faster streaming, lower lag in online gaming, and seamless airdrop transfers. In addition, the new iPad Mini is rumored to support Bluetooth 5.4, improving battery efficiency and range for accessories like AirPods and Apple Pencil. Cellular versions could even adopt 5G MM Wave support in more regions, enabling faster connections for remote work or travel. In short, the iPad Mini 8 isn't just faster inside. It's more connected than ever, perfectly suited for a world where streaming, remote work, and cloud computing dominate. 6. Smarter battery and charging improvements. Apple's efficiency improvements don't stop at performance. Thanks to the A19 Pro's advanced fabrication process, the iPad Mini 8 could deliver up to 15% better battery life compared to its predecessor. Charging could also see a meaningful upgrade. While it will continue using USB-C, rumors suggest Apple might adopt faster 35 W charging speeds. That means up to 50% charge in just half an hour. With the transition to more sustainable materials, Apple may also include new battery chemistry that offers longer lifespan and better heat resistance, reducing battery degradation over time. And for those who travel often, reverse charging for small accessories like AirPods could finally make its way to the mini lineup. 7. Audio, Cameras, and Accessories Apple isn't overlooking multimedia performance either. The iPad Mini 8 is expected to include improved stereo speakers with spatial audio tuning, clearer voices, deeper bass, and more immersive Dolby Atmos playback. The camera setup will remain simple but effective. Expect a 12MP wide sensor with better image processing, smart HDR6 support, and the same computational photography enhancement seen on the iPhone 16. The ultra-wide front camera will now support center stage for video calls and should relocate to the longer edge for landscape orientation. For accessories, compatibility with Magic Keyboard Mini and the Apple Pencil Pro makes the iPad Mini 8 more versatile for productivity and note-taking. If you're an artist, the OLED display and Pencil Pro integration might make this the best compact drawing device Apple has ever built. Eight. Software and AI integration, 
powered by iPad OS 19. The iPad Mini 8 will ship with iPad OS 19, which will likely bring tighter integration with Apple Intelligence AI features first introduced in 2024. Expect tools like AI assisted note summarization, smart Siri context awareness, predictive multitasking, suggesting apps based on habits, advanced photo and document editing directly on device. The A19 Pro Neural Engine will enable faster on-device AI computations, reducing dependence on cloud processing for privacy and speed. These features align perfectly with Apple's shift toward on-device intelligence, ensuring that even the smallest iPad can leverage the same AI features as the iPhone 17 Pro and M5 iPad Pro. 9. Release Timeline and Pricing Expectations Here's where things get interesting the timeline. Apple tends to update the iPad mini every two to three years. And given that the mini 7 was released in 2024, the iPad mini 8 is most likely to appear in late 2025 or early 2026. However, the OLED transition could complicate things. Some analysts suggest Apple might first release an A19 Pro LCD model in 2025 and follow with an OLED version in 2026 once production scales up. As for pricing, expect a modest increase. The current iPad mini starts around $499 to $549, but with OLED and A19 Pro power, the iPad mini 8 could start closer to $599 or $649. That positions it between the iPad Air and the standard iPad, but still significantly below the iPad Pro. 10. Who should wait for it? And who should buy now? So should you wait? It depends entirely on your priorities. Wait for the iPad Mini 8 if you want cutting-edge performance with the A19 Pro. You care about OLED visual quality and vibrant color accuracy. You rely on Wi-Fi 7 or 5G connectivity. You use AI and creative apps that benefit from more RAM. You want a device that will last 5 to 7 years of updates easily. Buy the current iPad Mini 6 7 if. You primarily use it for reading, note-taking, and basic media. You want to save money and don't need OLED or AI features. You need a compact iPad right now for travel or study. The iPad Mini 7 still performs admirably with the A17 Bionic, but the iPad Mini 8's Jump T19 Pro Plus OLED could make it the first truly pro-tier mini ever. 11. Final Thoughts The most exciting compact iPad yet. The iPad Mini 8 isn't about radical redesigns. It's about refinement, evolution, and perfection of what already works. Apple's strategy is clear. Merge pro-level performance with mini-level portability, and the result could redefine what a compact tablet can achieve. With the power of the A19 Pro chipset, 12GB RAM, OLED brilliance, and Wi-Fi 7 connectivity, the iPad Mini 8 promises a balance of speed, beauty, and practicality that no other device offers in this size. Whether you're an artist sketching on the go, a gamer looking for smooth frame rates, or a professional managing workflows remotely, this iPad mini will fit seamlessly into your lifestyle. So while we wait for Apple's official reveal, keep your eyes on the signs, OLED panel leaks, the 19 benchmark sightings, and iPad OS 19 beta strings. Those are the breadcrumbs that confirm the future of Apple's smallest powerhouse is closer than ever. When it arrives, the iPad Mini 8 won't just be a tablet. It'll be the perfect fusion of power and portability. The ultimate mini device with pro ambitions.